Hitman 2 released in 2018 and it is the seventh main installment of the Hitman series. It is the second game in the World of Assassination trilogy and a direct sequel to Hitman 1 which was released in 2016. Hitman 2 was by far the most requested game for me to review so over the past week I completed Hitman 2 and today we are going to talk about my thoughts on the game and if you should buy it in 2020. Like I mentioned earlier, Hitman 2 picks up right where Hitman 1 left off, as Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood begin to learn and infiltrate the mysterious Shadow Client from the first game. Now this game is very gameplay focused, there are not a lot of story elements to it, but what little there was, was pretty solid. Now since the budget on the game wasn't huge, IO Interactive was unable to make real cutscenes and instead show still motion images with narration over them. It's kinda weird and it would have been so much better to see these in actual cutscenes. I will say though that the story is very interesting and compelling. It does start off a little slow, but once you get into the final missions, the story actually becomes very interesting and mysterious. It makes all the missions feel a lot more weighted and story driven. It's unfortunate the cutscenes couldn't get a little more love because I think it was overall engaging and provided a good enough backstory for why 47 is infiltrating all these exotic and crazy locations. The Hitman series has always been gameplay focused and man it is good. The game really allows you to be creative in how you assassinate your target and it lets you play the game how you want. If you want to be John Wick and run in and kill everybody, you can do that. If you want to be a sneaky assassin, you can do that too. There's basically endless possibilities when completing each mission. Chances are though you're playing Hitman for stealth and stealth is great in this game. I love how you can disguise to waltz into restricted areas or set off distractions to lure people away or towards you. you can also also assassinate your targets in a multitude of ways. There's obviously straight up shooting, neck snapping, poison, mines, needles, knives, swords, throwing stars, or even using the most random things like a super powered fan. All these options allow for phenomenal replayability and allows you to keep returning to the game over and over again after you've finished to find little secrets, different story threads, and new assassinations. This game has so much longevity to it that you can play for years and still not discover everything in the map. There's also a lot of cool different systems in this game like surveillance cameras or small story threads that will lead to you getting an easy and fun kill on your target. There's so much variety and immersion to the gameplay that sometimes I feel like I'm playing in a live movie. My only real two complaints is how dumb the AI can act and that the gunplay is basic, which really isn't a huge deal and hardly ever detracted from my overall experience. While Hitman 2 isn't an open world game, it almost feels like one. Each, each map you play on is huge and has so many unique structures, landscapes, and events going on. The worlds feel very lived in and immersive, there's always cool events going on like a race or a presentation or a fashion show, or even just roaming the streets of densely populated cities. NPCs have conversations with each other making the world feel alive and many of them have conversations that can even tip you off on a mission story you can do or investigate. Exploration is also very much encouraged in this game and it is not only really fun to see all the different sites and people, but it also rewards you as you can stumble upon creative assassination opportunities or a fun story mission. The maps in the game also have great variety and each feels completely different from one another. In this game, you will go from a race site in Miami to a cartel-owned town in Santa Fortuna, Colombia. The variety is crazy. <laughs> Hitman 2 has a compelling story with some creative gameplay and in-depth stealth along with immersive worlds and a large replay value. My only complaints are that the gunplay is basic, the AI are pretty incompetent, and there aren't proper cutscenes. So Hitman 2 receives my score of an 8 out of 10 and you should absolutely buy it in 2020. The game is a little under 2 years old so you should be able to get it for a pretty good price. Hitman 2 was a blast to play and I can't wait for Hitman 3 which is coming in January of 2020. 
2021. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe would be really appreciated. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. If you are interested in discussing my videos and playing Hitman 2 with me and others, please feel free to join my community Discord. The link is in the description. Again, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day, Assassins.